uh, you know, so, but I wanted to work more on some Silver Dollar City content uh, tonight, so why not? Um, I don't know how, mu how much we'll work on tonight, but, you know, working on it two days in a row, uh, you know, that can, that has to amount for something, right? So, um, here we are, back in Silver Dollar City. When we left off yesterday, we built all of this side piece right here for the uh, parking lot section. We actually went in here and uh, did this little queue line for the stops one and two. And uh, this is actually for now, until I, unless I figure out something better, this is going to be where the guest spawner will be. So it kind of makes sense. Uh, it's kind of hidden. Again, I'm not going to have many interiors for this in the first place but um so yeah that's uh that is that um let's go ahead and make sure everyone knows we are live um by um getting this i still haven't figured out how to get it to where um it knows that i go live on discord Live on YouTube. All right, sweet. All right, here we go, and we are good to go. So, um, with the entrance area pretty much almost com basically complete, I might add a little bit up here. I'm not entirely sure. I could I could add a little bit up there. Um, let me see what it looks like in real life real quick oh, okay so it is kind of bare up there actually so there's not much I actually could do in that spot um, we could place a little wagon piece right over here if we wanted to um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that anyway for now but uh, have you been I've just discovered the best a uh, cappella band ever you have to check uh, check them out they're called home free and they do the best sea shanty you'll ever hear I like she sea shanties those are fun my wife really likes sea shanties too or sea shanties too so um, something we'll I'll definitely have to uh, try and uh, look up so but how are you guys doing we are so close to Kenobi. I'm so excited. I'm very, very excited for Kenobi. Alright, so let's head back up here. And I was thinking about working on the taffy shop today. Um, since we did get it started, but we never actually... Um, we never actually really did much, did much more than just kind of create the shape of it. So let's see if I can... Get some good references of it. Silver Dollar City Taffy Shop. And uh, that's all indoor. We want an exterior view. I don't care about the indoor or the indoor stuff right now. I need an exterior view to of what the building looks like. Oh, there it is. Found a picture very very low resolution but it is a picture nonetheless is that really what it looks like from there hmm see i thought there was more um references for this thought there was all right i got a uh, bits and pieces that i can see here uh, let's see, looking up, trying to find, see some more references here to figure this out, because we need a taffy shop. Um, let's check real quick Google Maps and see if there's a square to where we can actually see it. I think there might actually be, so let's go on over to Google Maps. Spot your second house, closed tomorrow. SDC isn't even 153 years old. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I am on year 153, aren't I? Now, the, the park is... My gosh, year 153. That makes me feel like I have been working on this for ages. Of course, I have. 
Right, let's head to Sordar City on Google Maps here. See if we can find a picture on the square that will help us out here. I thought I saw one. All right, here's the square. And yes, it's got a good view of the taffy shop. Uh, at least a, a fairly good good view of the taffy shop. So um, there is... Let's go ahead and click on onto this. This is going to be interesting. It's got like this little overhang. I don't know why I have the door right here, but it's more on the long lines of like over here. With a couple of windows that are going to be over here. It's got, it's a, uh, I guess that cream color actually kind of works for it. And they're fairly large windows here, so let's go ahead and I have like two sets of these maybe. Something along those lines. Uh, it's not super clear, but um, and I think there is a wall piece that kind of sticks out here at, towards the end. Just, just in the slightest, kind of around here. That's going to go. Okay, so I already have that already kind of hanging over a little bit, don't I? But we're going to go sort of like this. And then... Alright, let me see, find that one picture again. It's The roofing on this building is kind of bizarre looking. Let's see if I can zoom in on this picture anymore. Is that open? So it's got, again, very, very strange <laughs> kind of roofing situation that's going to be a little bit difficult to figure out, but um, we're going to try because it's got a couple of diagonal pieces and it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. It's going to attempt to be a pain in the butt. Maybe that's why I've held off so long on this. Um, maybe if we find roof trends. Didn't you start this pre? I, this, this building. I'm. I maybe. I don't exactly know when I sp actually put this building up here. Honestly, um, I'm not too positive when I started started this building. Okay, so let's create another one of these. We're gonna split it from the building, and then we're gonna make it diagonal. hopefully do this in a way that will work. It's going to be a little bit on the rough side trying to get it to do what we want. Alright, so we can go about, let's say let's go right there and let's edit this and kind of cut back on this wall. I'm going to kind of deconstruct a little bit here. Because I think I got the building, basically I think I made the building shape based off of Google Earth, I think is what I did here, so. Can't stay long, but uh, I meant the park, oh, it was the entire park. No, I, yeah, I started this well um, right after the game launched. I've been working on it since the game launched. So yeah, I've been, I, I should I should have had it done by now, basically. You know, I should probably change the colors of these before I get too far, because it's actually kind of a green color. And I think we should 
probably recolor it before we get too far. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm going to have a tough time recoloring this stuff. Okay, so let's grab the single piece here. Now we're going to be able to adjust. And we just kind of have to place these together. There's no real good way of getting that corner perfect. As you can see, it's going to have an awkward kind of split there, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do anything else for that. <clears throat> uh, very well, so let's go ahead and get another one going here. I'm going to kind of just line it up right away right here. Make it work. Cool. Uh, we're going to go back and edit it. Edit this. And we're going to have to try do this as well. Let me see. I got. Okay, so yes, it does continue on does continue on this side. So I kind of have like two different references here that allows me to kind of look at both or a couple of angles here. So, which is nice. It is nice. And then of course we can use Google Earth to look from above. Let's go ahead and get the one that's not on the grid here to kind of help us out. We'll place yet another one here. Kind of like so. And then we can just adjust these until the corner is right where we want it. Wish I could somehow hide those a little bit better. What happened here? I thought I, I don't think I moved one. I thought I duplicated it, but I guess not. Okay, let's head back over here and kind of do the same thing over here, I guess. Turn off grid size because we're going to need to turn it off to get what we want here. And this one's going to be more pain, more of a pain here to get right. Move it up. That's okay. Let's just go ahead and build this side up a little bit. Let's go ahead and basically kind of focus more so on this side right now. All right, again, we're kind of adjusting the, the walls here just a little bit slightly. And there is, I don't think that is diagonal. I think the only diagonal piece is right here. So I think we're okay there. And then there is, on top of the building, kind of like another little wall piece that's gonna that kind of helps out down here like this. It's actually more of a piece and a half, I think. It's a little bit bigger than what we initially had right there. So let's go and do that. Uh, let's go back to Google Maps, and I kind of want to go up above here to kind of see. Wish I could zoom in more, but I can't really see. Yeah, I can't really see that, unfortunately, but. It's okay. That is okay. We still got a good amount here to work with think to at least get the um, exterior right here bum, bum, bum. all right so for the roof here oh yeah stranger things as well 
I haven't watched Stranger Things in so long. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen season three. Um, I think it's been a long time since since season three, hasn't it? It's been quite, quite a while. Thinking about. but it would be so much easier than creating like a custom piece because no one wants to do a custom piece let's, let's just be honest won't even play it so like outside? I don't know how I always manage that. Nope, they're, they're not. Yeah, that's, that's too much. I, that's a little too much. Okay, um, let's try something else here. That's not gonna work either because we have a, don't have two full pieces, so. I had these pieces, and these are from um, Game Maker's Toolkit. And you know what? I might actually use these for this. We're going to try and see if it'll work. Just tiny little shingle pieces that we can place anywhere. And I didn't even think about using these. And we can place these at the ends, maybe? Yeah? Yeah? I am gonna have to rotate this one around. For it to fit on the other side, though. Alright, well, let's try and line this up to where it makes sense want fighting textures so we'll try and avoid those still might look a little awkward but that's okay and then that way we could actually rotate these I'm I'm glad I ran into this because this might make this a little bit easier maybe Alright, we actually need the end piece too. I don't know why I didn't grab that. So I can do this and this. I might just need to rotate it to where it fits that angle there. around it for our sake all right let's try and get this on the other side a little bit here too might be hard to get this in place but we want to make sure it's 
since we only have one piece to work with, it makes it a little bit harder. What's up, Variety? How's it going? Honestly, not not too bad. I pleasantly surprised that this might actually help us and make it work. This might actually work, guys. If I can get these <laughs> in the right spot or not. We'll have to manually adjust them a little bit. But, you know. You know what I'm saying, bruh. Yeah, this, one, this one in general will just go out further. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just gonna go to concrete, to the freeform piece that is in the toolkit items. Actually, it's it's in buildings too, because it does blend them together in here as well. To make this easier, we're just gonna use this. This will give us a nice rooftop. Piece for that. And that was a lot less of a headache than I think. Like, it, you're not going to notice these unless you zoom them really, really close. So I might just leave those, let those be for right now. If I can find a better solution later, maybe we will. What building is this? This is the taffy shop up on the square. So this is the taffy shop from right by the entrance. I mean, it's not a Sodor City trip unless you get some taffy on your way out before you leave the park for the day. Let's be honest. a little bit. We are going to get this nice in, in here, just like so. There are some windows up here, little facade windows and such, and we're gonna try and use those if we can. decorations. I think it's underwall decorations. We need to find this piece. It's, uh, one of these, like a really small one if possible. I don't know if there's any s real small ones. Where are the small ones? I, there's got to be like, there's like a small one somewhere. What are these things called? Bracket, 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 bracket. Crack? Why? Where did the C come from? Bracket. All right. Let's see. We want small, 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 small. Okay. Th this is gonna be the one. Gonna have to sink it in here. But we're getting all the details in. All the details in. You best believe that. Even if it sucks. 
to happen to do. And it's a pain in the butt, we're getting the details. These in here. Neato. I need to change the color of these walls. They are way too orange. To be honest. They need to be the same color here. Because looking at the picture, I'm just like, that is not the color we need. <laughs> we need to change that up real quick. Before we get too far, you know. Before we get too far, it might, might be a good idea to get all these changed first. So, we're going to do that. Evening, what's up? Welcome on down to the stream. Hmm. Auto save? Yeah, that's what I thought. That is what I thought. Flanco music, how can you not love? That is a good thing about Flanco music is that um, it never gets old, even though you do hear a lot of the same songs. You know, it's just so relaxing and nice to hear while you're building. You know, and ah oh man, I hope I hope Planet Coaster Two has just as good as the soundtrack. I'm sure it will. I mean, even Planet Zoo's a, Planet Zoo's a banger too. So, um. I just think they know what they're doing. I even love uh, Planet Zoo music. Planet Zoo. Which I need to play more of, honestly, because, you know, I've... Honestly, I'm, I have under 60 hours on Planet Zoo. And I'm over here at 3,500 hours on Planet Coaster. It's a little bit unbalanced. <laughs> Haven't played Planet Zoo personally. I think Planet Zoo is a really good game, but I'm just not into zoos as much as I am theme parks, so. I think it's a better optimized game. Like, it's, it's, it seems to be better optimized, and uh, it's got slightly better graphics, and they did do a good job getting better graphics in, and... You know, they have 3D grass. That's also something that's awesome. So it's got a lot of stuff that I wish playing a coaster had. Which is the, the crappy part. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I want it in playing a coaster, you know? Alright, let's get these windows in up here. Now, these have different colored shutters. So, but the that's the color I need those so what we're gonna do is kind of put in some custom shutters and this will actually work beautifully because these actually are closer to the texture anyways so If I can push those in as far as I can here. There we go. Now I might take a few of these and move them over just a little bit. So they're spaced out evenly. It's been a while. Hey, what's up? So I'd hope it'd be better in some departments. That's true. So I think the cool thing is, is that Planet with when Planet Coaster 2 releases, it's going to be even better than Planet Zoo. So that's that something to be even more excited about, you know? 
because Planet Zoo is currently a little more technologically advanced than Planet Coaster. Uh, so imagine what Planet Coaster 2 could bring to the table, and it, it will be even more, uh, a little bit better than Planet Zoo itself, so. Alright, we need the taffy sign, so I'm going to try and shape a t the taffy sign out. Don't know how this is going to go, so just kind of wish me luck. That's all I can say. I've never been the best at like art shapes and doing these random shapes and stuff, but this will actually look actually make a lot of sense considering how many parks have wildlife exhibits and Vice versa, if Planet Coaster 2 was some game with parks, zoos, water parks, all into one game. I would love to see all of it in one game, but, you know, I don't think it will happen, but I could see water parks being a thing, but I don't know if zoos are going to make their way in since they have kind of had their own big success with Planet Zoos, so... All right, we need the taffy. We're just gonna use these because I think they'll look pretty good. Just gotta do them right here. And then we'll color them the way we need to, of course. I think it's still raining outside. It's been raining all day. Hopefully I don't, um, hopefully my PC doesn't crash again like it did earlier. I was streaming on Twitch earlier, and um, it, my PC just crashed and restarted on its own. It was very strange. I just, I didn't end up restarting. I was actually ending the stream in pretty soon anyway, so it wasn't a huge deal, but like, thankfully it didn't happen while I was recording uh, that episode. I was recording an episode of The Challenge Park, so a new episode will be up tomorrow on YouTube. What does that say? Okay, so it's a uh, Phoebe Snap Taffy. See, I never realized that was the actual name. Phoebe. Did I spell that right? P H O E V E. Yep, I spelt it right. Very weirdly spelt. Spelled, so. Spelt, spelled. You know. I can talk. Alright, we're gonna have a nice fade out. Kind of like that. I don't know what it says on the bottom. It does say something else on the bottom. see and zoomed in it's uh it's hard to see what the bottom text says because there is bottom text on there too but i don't know what it says because it's such a low the sign's not even on this this picture interesting yeah that sign's not even on that picture oh what the heck there's the shrubbery that was there too, so it's, I guess it kind of varies. This picture that I'm looking at right now is taken from December 2021, so I'm going to go mostly based off of it, I think. <laughs> so I'm going to keep the sign in. Cause... Yeah, I don't like that. 
Ooh, what do I do? Actually, the easier way to do it would be to duplicate this and then just recolor it, whatever we want to recolor it as. I think it's just kind of like a darker piece of itself, and we could yeah, just do something like this. Yeah, that's, that's much easier right there. Um, I'll have to see what the bottom text says, and then we'll we'll add it later. So, but since I don't really know what the bottom text actually says, we're just gonna leave it like so. All right, so let's go ahead and get the trim on the top here. There's a small little dormer piece over up here too, so we'll make sure to get that as well. The bottom does not say delicious daily flavors, does it? Looked up the shop and the sign said that on the bottom, but was not that sign. I, I don't know. It says it says something. I, I just can't see it. It's very blurry from what I have to look at. From what I'm looking at. Because I'm on Google Earth and there's a 360 photo that's on the square. And that's kind of what I'm viewing it from. But when I zoom in, I just cannot read it. It is, it is too pixelated. I cannot, cannot see it. It might. I think it might say flavors. Let's see. What did you say it said? Might say delicious daily flavors. It might say that. I'm trying to. Delicious daily flavors. It could say that. It's kind of hard to tell though. <laughs> I'm really trying to make it out. It's all right. We'll we'll just add it and again. All I got to do is like when I go into work tomorrow, maybe I can go take a look real quick and make sure I uh, make sure I see it. You know. Alright, I need to find a really small dormer if there is one. Something super small. Oh, what will work? I don't want gel cell ones. Those are way too big. Nice as they are. Don't make me make my own. I might just have to. There might just not be an option to other option for us here. So we might just have to make our own little because I don't have any other option here. All right, nice and gentle here. We'll bring it out just a little bit. We'll get the other side popping in here. Because it is really, really small. Delicious flavors daily. Okay, well, I'll put that on there for now. And if it, for some reason, is not that, we will change it later. But I, I don't doubt that you're right. All right. Delicious flavors. It's probably not going to fit, is it? Nope. Uh, the fact that I can't add the S. Okay, let's just do delicious. Delicious. Copy here. Let's 
see if I can do flavors daily. No E. Alright, that will work. Space that out properly. Right about right there. Grab both of them, center it up. There we go. Delicious flavors daily. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Alright, we're just gonna use our go to here. We're just gonna use planks. to push this in so it kind of overhangs just a little bit so this is going to be our bottom piece and there actually is like some very small windows on this thing too but this is going to be the best we can do what's up silas welcome back two live streams in one day i'm loving this uh me too i just felt like after hearing the the darn news that planet coaster 2 could potentially it probably won't but could potentially come out as soon as the end of this year um yeah i'm, I'm kind of panicking and saying i need to get this done i really don't want to abandon this project i want it to definitely be done before i had i, I wouldn't say i don't know if i'll completely abandoned Planet Coaster 1 if Planet Coaster 2 comes out, but I mean why wouldn't I? <laughs> so, I'm gonna be playing the second game non-stop so I kind of would love to get this done if possible now if it came out, if it literally came out this year, I, I don't even know what to say, like, I'd be freaking out, I for sure thought would think that won't be for sure until next season, next year. Towards the end of next year, too. But the fact that it sounds like it could potentially be at the latest spring of next year. Like, who knows how reliable those sources are that we heard from today. Um, and if it did get taken down, from what I hear, you know, that's a good sign that maybe it is true when stuff gets taken down that probably means it's true you know just saying there's a very high likelihood that it's true Hopefully the Steam Workshop is transferable so you can move parts from like I really hope so. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. I don't I don't think it will happen. My early my prediction is gonna say that it is not gonna be able you're not gonna be able to. Um as much as I want it to really, really badly, I don't think so. Planet Coaster 2 may come out as early as this year. Yeah, Joe K5 came in, and Joe K5 has a lot of knowledge and knows quite a few sources, so I trust Joe K5 pretty much. He was in the stream earlier saying that he found, read something that, that, uh, 
Planet Coaster 2 could be out as early as the end of this year or by spring of next year, which even at spring of next year isn't even that far away. Um, which kind of threw me off too. I was like, what? S by spring of next year? <laughs> uh, or even early or late 2022. Winter of 2022 is what he said. And that it is going to have the RMC Raptor that it's going to have an Intamin Blitz, and that it is going to have the Mach Extreme Spinning Coaster. And also that paths are not going to be changing, is what he's, what, what the early, or what he read, or what he saw. Um, from And what he said, it sounds like it got taken down. So that gives me high hopes that it might actually have been real, you know? That it might actually be true. You know, we never know, we don't ever really know until the time comes around, but couldn't find, so I think the site was, was there was something, yeah, it sounded like he said that, because I asked him, like, where did he find that, and he said he thinks it got taken down as well, so I'm like, I would have loved to take a look at it. I'm glad that he got to be able to look at it and kind of share something, some of the stuff with us, so it was nice to hear. But if it got taken down, I'm 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 fairly confident it might be it might be true. That would be epic. Not gonna lie, I would It just makes me kinda a little more excited. I don't want to get my hopes up. I really don't that it's gonna release that soon. But um it'd be awesome if it did. That would be absolutely incredible. Again, not gonna not gonna get my hopes up. I I don't want to like go based off of that too much, but because we don't know how reliable that was, we we really don't. I feel like I'm gonna steal this railing here. I've noticed this railing gets used a lot. All right, let's split you from the building and move you over here. I need you for the taffy shop. I'm actually going to keep the color, too. And we're just going to do this number. If it, just imagine if Planet Coaster 2 came out literally this year, what? Like, what? <laughs> I would have said you were nuts. I still say, say that, probably would say that right now. I don't see it coming out, I still don't see it coming out this year, but one can be hopeful. We know how Frontier is. They like to announce. They sometimes don't announce their stuff till right before it comes out, and which is crazy sometimes because it's like, oh, here's the announcement of this. By the way, it's going to be available next week. When they do that for games, usually it's a few month, a month or two, but like they usually do that for DLC because like they announce a DLC pack and it's out literally the next the next week. <laughs> uh, tell the who you said card. Don't, don't, don't say anything about me. I had nothing to do with it. This wasn't coming from me. So, don't go blaming me. Did I build the new building by Fireman's Landing? I have started on the structure, yes. I just kind of threw it on behind here. <laughs> it's something like that. It's something along those lines is how it's looking so far. There's the actual fireman's landing, or, fi or fire in the hole in case you were wondering for reference. That is the building over there. 
I think I think I underbuilt it. It might actually be larger than what is shown what I've shown right here, but minor details. Didn't the first one come out on Steam on release day Steam is on Mac, so wouldn't get it with release. See, I had I had like the alpha and everything. I had I got to experience Planet Coaster way before way before it actually officially came out. I think what we're going to do is pull this out here and kind of do a one right there because there's a, a little planter here that goes along with this so we want to make sure we kind of implement that a little bit RMC uh, yeah supposedly RMC got the contract for it so from what I'm hearing I thought it was going to be Gerslauer, but it sounds like RMC got the job because they were the lowest bidder. So, but we'll see. Who knows? No one actually knows. I mean, kind of. The people working on it do, and I know the people working on it, so... Hyper hybrid confirmed? I didn't say that. <laughs> I know there's kind of like an exit door over here. So we want to make sure we have that implemented somehow. There is a planter on the other side too that kind of goes with the terrain. So the terrain kind of goes downwards a little bit. So you make sure we get that in there. This way, it's got a little bit of a planter here. It's a Giga Hybrid. I definitely have inside sources. It also has two launches. <laughs> Do I have season passes? Um, I have a little bit better than season passes. I got an employee pass, so yes, uh, I can go. I, I'm there every day, so I see the construction every single day. So a little bit! <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, no. <laughs> Be a strata. Yeah, it's gonna shoot right out of the top of the roof and just go up. That's exactly what it looks like they're gonna do, totally. Heard it here first. Alright, let's try intensity really low. Let's turn down the size just a little bit. And we're gonna go sample. The terrain does kind of shift right here. So we wanna make sure we acknowledge that. I can fix the terrain bit later, but. Maybe 
push further this way because all this terrain is going to go downwards. It's going to break the thousand foot mark. You know what? You never know. You never know. Honestly, you, you just don't know these days. Where's your favorite place to eat? At Silverdar City? Um, that's a good question. I would say fry bread, but it, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I like Crossroads. I'm, I'm a big pizza fan, and I like Crossroads pizza a lot. Um, River Town Smokehouse is good. It's just really expensive. Go in here with the smooth tool a little bit. Here we go. We haven't actually placed any real path down here yet, so um, we want to make sure we get all the terrain down first the way we need it. Okay, as for this. There is kind of like a going on here so we're just gonna include it as well see I wish I had a corner piece I could use for that <laughs> it would be nice close up those corners. Is there any trims that can close them up that I maybe missed? Oh, goody. It's actually not the same, but is there a corner piece that I missed for this? This one? Aha! I don't know if I could use it for to maybe plug up those. Because it's a 90 degree turn, they don't have a diagonal one, so that actually wouldn't work. So I would indeed have to. But for this, this one will work. It will work just fine because that's what we have. That's what we got. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three pieces there. Imagine that. Imagine. Go. Oh, another auto save already? Has it been thirty minutes? Do I know what a block zone is? Uh, a block zone, for those from not familiar, a block zone is uh, a section of track that only one um, coaster train may occupy. This helps avoid uh, the trains to collide with one another. Something along those lines. I need to get that shirt. There's actually a shirt where you can actually... Uh, <laughs> Where you can actually uh, purchase that. I need to get that shirt. To show off my nerdiness. Any insider information on SDC that the public does not know? Absolutely. Um, I know the guys that are actually, that build the, that stuff, so. I knew about Time Traveler almost two years before it opened. I knew about Mystic River Falls about two years before it opened. 
Fireman's Landing. I didn't know specific details, but I knew a kind of what they were doing before it opened. 245 foot tall hyper being built in Marvel Cave. That would that would be pretty sick. I think we should do a dive coaster going down into the the hole that leads down into the cathedral room. Ask them about it. Well, the new structure is going to be for fire in the hole 2.0. I'm tired of the I've already told everyone what it is. However, um it's it's nothing's confirmed. I just point that out that it's definitely not confirmed however I know the people working on it so I got a good relationship with uh, the maintenance team so I mean at this point almost everyone knows at this point anyways so it's not really secret anymore like everyone basically knows about it already If I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> My not favorite non-coaster ride at SDC. Either the, maybe the giant swing. I like the giant swing a lot. Electro spin's fun. Um, oh, what else? What else is there? Um, American Plunge is a good classic. Um, Log Flume. Cleaning up the puke. Uh, on that low run when we visited. You're welcome. Uh, did you watch me clean it up? I do it quite often. It's my la it's probably the, the worst part of the job. Okay, there actually isn't uh, anything there. Actually, that, interestingly enough. Favorite ride of all time at SDC? Well, that's easily uh, Outlaw Run. I almost said Time Traveler for some reason. That's not right. <laughs> Outlaw Run, hands down, like, or hands up. Not even a competition. You know? Mr. Guru Falls, eh. Firefall's pretty good. I was confused why no one was helping you, only to find out you had have to have special training. You have to have special training to clean up blood. Anyone can clean up vomit, but, um, you know, no one really wants to, so I usually volunteer. What the heck does Outlaw Run make you puke? Um, the G it, we're talking the GP here, so. Wish I could have rode bus off all same. I have grew up with the with Silver Dollar City and lived here all my life and did not get the chance to ride bus off falls. I was probably too young um, at the time because I didn't really get into coasters until bus off closed after it closed, so. People actually throw up on coasters? I thought that was a Hollywood myth. Uh, do you tell guests that they are building the new fire in the hole? I'm on Facebook group, and someone said an employee told them that they are building a new fire. I mean, we're, we, what we're supposed to say is um, we have no idea what it is. That That's what they instructed us to say. Um, however, I, I don't want... Um, people to miss out on their last chance to ride the original fire in the hole so i tell them that you know it's probably gonna close if you're not gonna be here at any more point of the season you might want to go get your rides on fire in the hole you know i just kind of let people know that <laughs> and i tell them this is not confirmed and you didn't hear it from me But I don't care. They're not gonna fire me for uh, saying such things, cause um, <laughs> Outlaw Run wouldn't be able to run without me. So I'm actually learning a lot of Spanish because we have a lot of uh, international students working at Outlaw Run. Uh, and when I say a lot, I mean our entire team is international students, and then there's me. 
That's our team. Absolutely love the international students, though. Uh, we get a lot this group from the Dominican Re Republic, and they're so they're so fun to work with. Some of their English isn't always the greatest. Uh, a lot of them are better than others, but um, I'm learning some Spanish. It's a lot, it's a lot of fun. Bow attacks coming up with uh, the super chat nine ninety nine. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. Uh, I read chat. <laughs> What do you think they're... What do you think you're going to be... Oh, gosh, I can't read. What do you think you're going to be uh, Planet Coaster 2 or Planet, Coaster, or Planet City? Um, are you asking... I'm, I'm guessing you kind of typed... Had a typo there. But... Um, are you asking me, like, which one I would rather have? Or do I think there's? it's going to be one or the other? I think they're both actually possible, to be honest. Like, Planet Coaster 2, I think, for sure is coming. And then, who knows, maybe a Planet City. Maybe they have their own city simulator that could have parks in it, too. You never know. Maybe maybe Frontier's working on something big. You never know. But, th again, thank you so much for the... For the, the Super Chat. The, the $9. $9.99. I do appreciate that. I don't get donations very often or super chats very often, so that's awesome. I appreciate that a lot. <clears throat> I, 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 I always thought I did something wrong and that they didn't work, so if you'd rather have put a city or a Planet Coaster 2, I think obviously the city, like if, you, if, you, if you're if you talking about city, are you talking about like basically having water parks, zoos, and all the above? Because obviously I would want want that, but if you're talking about like more of a city simulator kind of like city skylines, I think I would definitely go with Planet Coaster Two, but um, uh, for that style. But um, a Planet City, like I would say, when I see, when I hear Planet City, I'd I'd imagine that's more kind of like a city skylines. But uh, if the if there's a Planet City, but the <laughs> but you can build a theme park in it, like, just as in detail as you can in Planet Coaster, then yeah. I I would I think I would go with Planet Coaster 2, just because um, I like city builders a lot, but I think I, I'm... Theme parks are just my, my thing. They're my biggest thing that, uh, that I have to go with. I just love, I just love theme parks in general. Too much. But I would definitely like to see like the zoo and water park aspects added for sure. That's what I want. Not, I'm not even a big water park guy, but I understand why people want, definitely want it, you know. Oh, Variety coming in with a donation, a uh, super chat as well, $1.99. Well, here have another. Well, thank you so much. Uh, do you know of any other rides that will be built at SDC? I don't have any insider information. Basically, I only, they only, you only really start hearing stuff one at a time. However, there's a very early rumor that maybe Flooded Mine could be on the way out. Um, nothing no information on what could replace it but like that could be the next ride that they either renovate slash remove or whatever and that's that's an early rumor that i don't have a lot back in that one but <clears throat> and dinosaurs let's have plan <laughs> planet zoo theme park dino water extravaganza why not you know why why not Okay, so the taffy shop's coming along pretty good. Um, let me get back in the top view. It's really hard to see it from the top view. There's, it's it's so hard to see, and I don't have I don't have photos of the back or the side here. You know. Water parks would be super nice 
just since so many parks have integrated water parks like a Kentucky Kingdom recreation would be almost impossible as is K or KK is KK Kentucky Kingdom not no um, no that was the ride uh, always went on when oh when well, the other ones were closed yeah I don't know like it there's not a whole lot backing that but um, if anything, I hope they just renovate it. Also, Tyler, thank you so much for the four ninety nine super chat. Um, I'll one up you. Thank you guys so much. I this is the most super chats I've ever had in one stream. <laughs> I'm glad to see they're working. I was actually kind of worried that they weren't working. I thought I en enabled them because you have to enable them. And at, for a while, I didn't even think I I got it to work right. But I'm um, glad to see that they are actually working because I think I had. Some chats some, at some point saying they weren't working, and I'm glad to see that they actually are. Frontier should just make a game called Planets. <laughs> Planet that just it just has everything. Honestly, if we could get basically Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but like modern, you know, it has everything we want, but everything's kind of updated and up to up to date. I would be down for that. You know, and being able to do, like, custom CTRs, custom flat rides, all of it. Give it. Just give it. Give it to me now. Give it, give it, give. Give, give, give. You know. Okay, so I need to add a structure on the bottom of this, so let's do that. Build your own planet. Exactly. You just have a giant world to work in. But from the rumors that I heard that that we heard today from uh, Joke Five is that we could see Planet Coaster Two as early as late of this year, twenty twenty two. I don't know when that happened. I remember when I first watched you make a coaster in Nomads Two. Also, I was right now. I'll run last night. Um, by last night, I I don't think you were riding it last night because the park was closed yesterday. I hope you weren't riding it last night, so there was no operators there. Today's actually the last day the park is closed until August. After today, we actually start seven-day operation. Wish me luck. That's all I can say. I hope I survive. I'm sure I will. I still get my two days off. It's just... As of right now, I, I do. As of right now, I get my two days off. <clears throat> planet, planet confirmed. Planet Ultimate Park Edition. Planet Ultimate Park. I don't know. You got this. Did you sneak in and run by the ride yourself? <laughs> That's why I'm like, the, the ride wasn't even open yesterday. Unless you're talking about Sunday. Uh, which we, clo we you wouldn't have gotten an, an you know. Uh, that's, uh, you, know, you might have been talking about Sunday. Uh, have you ever done an outlaw run lift walk? Yes, I do all the time. Usually every off season we just kind of hang out on the top of the lift. We'll just walk up to the top and hang out at the top for a little bit. There was one time, um, my um, oh, uh, someone from Wildfire called and said, um, "Hey, go up! You go, you guys should go up your lift hill." So we went up there, and they were on their lift hill, and we were just waving at them. It was awesome. <laughs> waving at each other from our lifts. Alright, that's not looking too shabby. I actually think that's looking pretty good. Um, okay, let's go back to Google Maps. I wish Google Maps wasn't taken during this time of year because it's just kind of so hard to see. We got the gazebo here with the um, gazebo stage. 
and there is a couple of few things over here but I'm maybe if I can find all right I'm gonna go back into the it's not really street view but it's like the best I can get um, there is this piece on the square where we can see a little bit but there is a planter directly in front right here that we can build it wouldn't be too hard Um, no one from Powder Keg was on the lift, no, but, uh, <clears throat> oh gosh, a lot of comments since last time. Uh, when they get a new ride, when they could call it, could be dual pistols, uh, yeah, they're not gonna do that. They ain't gonna theme anything to guns. They're getting away from that, so, uh, is operating an RMC really as bad as people say? Yes. It is a nightmare. It is a, uh, physical nightmare. You have to be physically fit, basically, um, to, to operate out, uh, to operate RMCs. This is why I don't have a team. This is why all my team members are all international students that don't really get to choose where they, where they get to work, um, because uh, I'm like the only one. That's I'm the only one that's not an international student that works there. Let's see how. That is pretty equal to to here. It is it is one of the worst rides. It honestly is one of the most un I wouldn't say unfun. I make it fun, but like it is one of the worst rides to operate physically. I want to work there one day. Um, but just avoid Outlaw Run. Work at Time Traveler. Time Traveler's an easy ride. All you do is push buttons. But yeah, no one ever wants to work at Outlaw Run. Everyone tries to avoid out working at Outlaw Run. That's why I, I'm always hurting for staff a lot. How old do you have to be to be a ride up? And do you need any degrees? No, they'll hire anybody. And uh, to be... To work on dock, you can't be in the op booth, but to work on dock, you have to at least be 16. Uh, but you can't do evacuations, and you can only work on dock. Uh, but that's the earliest. You have to be 18 to work in the booth, and you have to be 18 to do evacuations as well. So. Um, you're going to do more episodes of your challenge park? I actually streamed it earlier today. This is my second stream of the day. And the next episode is tomorrow. It's already uploaded, actually. And scheduled to release tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central. So, yes. <laughs> Have you ever done an evacuation? Um, yes, many, many times. I probably have done hun over a hundred. Maybe, well, maybe not over a hundred, but probably close to a hundred. Over nine years, probably. <laughs> I that first year we did a lot of evacs. That first season that the ride was open. You're a quick editor. I mean, I cheat sometimes because I do a lot of. Uh, I, I I do kind of do a lot of um, time lapses. There's a little bit of cheating there. I'm 16, maybe I could come help on dock. I live two hours away and gas is expensive. You're not you're not wrong there. Gas is expensive. Okay, let's grab some more mulch. Time Traveler is one of my fa your favorite rides. I like Time Traveler a lot. It's definitely my second favorite in the in Silver Dollar City. I just you can't surpass Outlaw Run. As much as I would want to see SDC up one up Outlaw Run. I just don't see it happening anytime soon. I work at Outlaw Run with me.
Get ready to lift up some heavy lap bars. The thing about Outlaw Run is RMC designed it to where every single cycle, every single cycle, the lap bars have to come up whether there's anybody in it or not. And those lap bars are hydraulic and they're super heavy. And if you have like two people riding at a time, which Outlaw Run doesn't get the biggest crowds all the time because um, the GP don't like Outlaw Run as much as the other rides. The GP just don't like Outlaw Run, okay? There's some GP that do, but like most of the GP think Outlaw Run is rough for some reason because it is a wooden coaster. Therefore, they immediately say it's rough. Um, but you have to literally pull up. If you have two people riding and you're the only one on your side, you're pulling up every single lap bar. And those lap bars also like to do a fun thing, and they like to fall down well, as soon as you pull it up, and it doesn't count as open. And, yeah, it's fun. And you know what you do at Time Traveler? You don't even have to check restraints at Time Traveler physically. You just push a button, and it does it for you. The lap bars check themselves at Time Traveler. Like, it doesn't get... <laughs> any easier than that. I do miss my time at Time Travel, though. That was that was a fun ride to work. And that, that crew that was over there was so good. So fun. So fun. I um, really wish I could... We could have that team again. But most of those people don't even work, work here anymore. Work there anymore, so... Which, which makes me sad. Makes me sad. Cause I miss them. I do miss all my old co-workers that used to work at the park, but they all left because the the park kind of went to poop after uh, after 2020. So, and the park was like, we're we're not gonna pay you guys all that much. <laughs> Show the sign at Outlaw Run. The sign? Which sign? I have lots of signs. Which uh, which exact sign are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the Golden Ticket Award one? That I worked on last night? It's pretty standard for lap bars to have come up every cycle, though. That's how you... But the only thing... That's how you avoid incidents like... Uh, Haunted Mind, the RMC lap bars are still poorly designed, though, in my opinion. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything, though. Like, it, it's supposed to be a safety feature, but the, here's the thing, the cylinders raise up on their own automatically. Even if I repress the button without that feature, it wouldn't dispatch it. It really wouldn't. <laughs> You'd have to drop, redrop the cylinders again, so you would have to push a button, another button first, and do a double dispatch as in you have to the person on dock has to push their button and you have to push your button so there's no way you can accidentally re-dispatch the ride again there's no way it can happen even without having to pull the bars up like that's just extra work that is not doesn't need to be there and most rides the the lap bars open on their own outlaw runs bars don't open on their own so it's like <laughs> a lot of those rides do just like Time Traveler, they just pop on up on their own. <laughs> uh. My gosh, you guys are active in chat tonight. I love it. Oh my gosh, I, I was like, I haven't been paying attention to how many uh, viewers we had. We have 17 viewers, and holy crap, I have... You guys have donated $16.97 in this stream. Thank you guys so much. I just realized, like, that all added up to that much, that amount. That's awesome. You guys are the best. You all rode Mr. Freeze's Six Flags St. Louis. I have. It's a really, really, really fun. Really, really good coaster. Probably one of the best at St. Louis. Just expect long lines because they only run one train on everything. Um, what are we talking about? Planning to go in several hours. Man, I'm not keeping up with all your. I'm sorry, I'm 
been missing out like uh, spookism. I've been missing out on a lot of your uh, messages. Sorry. I'm trying to. Um, the golden ticket one. Got you. Okay. I want to see that masterpiece. It's absolutely awful, but it is. It's it's awful. Lost River Greater, and I'll stand by that until I die. I'm not going to judge you on that one because at, at, at one point I was like, you know what? You know, I bet we, we could replace Lost River. You know, I, I, w I don't have an issue with that. But then Mystic replaced it, and I'm, like, kind of regretting that I thought about that now because I, I think Lost River had better theming overall. It was definitely more reliable. And... I don't know. I, I've only ridden Mystic like three times, you know, and I, I I find myself missing Lost River more, and I wish they would have at least maybe just renovated it instead and kept the layout the same, kept everything the same, and maybe just like redone a lot of section, redo a lot of stuff that just needed redone, renovation rise. Um, the drop does nothing for me. It's gimmicky. The drop doesn't really do anything. It's not even the best part of the ride. It's just kind of there. Like, it really does. Um, and I find myself... I do find myself missing Lost River more and more. The, the longer we've been without it. <laughs> I really do. You can really tell RMC trains are made by a small company. Um, they were definitely amateurs when they first made Outlaw Run. You could tell. The, they fixed a lot of the issues on it, thankfully. And so this will probably be Fire in the Holes last season, so make sure you ride it. I actually haven't been on Fire in the Hole yet this year, and I need I need to ride it as many times as I can. I think they're doing well, but definitely have room for improvement on the trains. Yeah, I think they can make more comfortable trains for sure. Problem there, even riding an RMC, they're a pain to lift up when you're riding. Uh, yeah, those hydraulic bars, man. RMC trains are comfortable to ride in for me but i can see how they're annoying to operate um i just think they could do better restraints to get better airtime as well <laughs> i didn't see that golden okay you guys want to keep seeing that sign here it is i i started it i need to fix it and the horse is absolutely awful <laughs> everything besides the horse i actually think everything turned out okay I just hate the horse. I don't know what to do for it. And I don't even know how to make the cowboy on it. There's just, there's no way. Uh, everyone seems to be missing Lost River. The drop killed my back when you hit the pond at the bottom. I was stupid and didn't brace for it. And it throws you around. The ride throws you around a lot. Even in the rapid section. Please show us the golden tickets. Uh but yeah, I, I, it's it's an awful sign. <laughs> That's a beautiful horse. Please keep it that way. Just as I keep it, it's awful. The horse is awful. The rest of the sign is okay, but the rest of like, okay, I'm just gonna turn this on for a second so you guys can see it. All right, here is. This is the sign it's supposed to be since I actually own the sign and it's hanging on my wall. I actually have a real actual reference to it in my own office. So that's what the sign's supposed to look like. <laughs> in case you guys didn't know, I just rewatched the rest where Westwood Park series the other day and you've gotten way better, but since then you've always been good at scenery and my plant coaster. And that's my pet coaster pet peeve. Plant coaster pet peeve. Um, I've definitely improved a lot from Westwood. I'll I'll admit that as well. Um, I could be, still be better though. I could still be better. I'm not to the point where I want to be still yet. Um, what's wrong with the horse? It's perfect. Um, sure. <laughs> if you guys are okay with it, yeah, that's fine. I think it's better than the real version. <laughs> That's the greatest golden ticket I've ever seen. It's literally just a, a rectangle. <laughs> I'm late, but I love your work. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. The more I look at it, the better it gets. The horse looks like a wide Mickey Mouse. 
It looks like a drunk Mickey Mouse. Like, here's the ears, and, the, and it's just like Mickey Mouse got drunk, and the ears are just kind of drooping. And it's got, like, some sticks or something sticking out of his head. I don't know. <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's what it actually looks like. <laughs> let's be honest. All right, let's get rid of that. <laughs> but... But yeah, that's the one I was modeling on after. Uh, I saw recently that RMC is currently hiring mechanical engineers. If only I had my degree already, I could help. Hey, maybe someday, you know? Uh, I know someone that worked in maintenance as kind of like an intern at Silver Dollar City, and he now works for, I think, Premier Rides now, which is awesome for him. Really, really cool. Um, what's the next big thing big thing I'm going to work on um, in this park I'm just kind of I basically am trying to get in the habit of completing everything so I started yesterday we went back here the entrance area is pretty much done I just needed to create all this right here we built this yesterday this is kind of like the little tram and I'm going to kind of use it for the as of right now i'm going to use it for the guest spawner um because that's where guests will enter and exit as well because they exit through here is it another auto save already geez so we built this yesterday to kind of complete this area so i'm going to try and go through and not go to the next section until i got everything complete before i get to the next section <clears throat> i would be a cool uh cave tour guide nice i'm sure you would I don't know if I could do be a cave tour guide. I feel like I would mess up and get nervous. You should visit all the parks you made in the past and say what you could improve uh, upon it. I could. I could do that. Maybe we'll do that here in a little bit. Will you build the cave? I actually have already started on the cave, yes. It will be in this build. Um, it's actually going to be the last thing I work on. Once I get the rest of the park done, then I'll go into the cave a little bit more. But I started on the cathedral room a little bit. I would be an annoying cave tour guide. <laughs> it's acting. See, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I'm the best actor. I could be a good actor, maybe. I don't know. Hey, it's done. Sweet. I can move again. But yeah, we did start on the cave. There, We do have the hole in the ground. And we have the entrance to the cave right here. And uh, yeah. So if we dive underground here, you can see that we did, in fact, start on the cave. Turn on our light here. You can kind of see what we've been doing. But this is all I've done so far. I haven't done any more than this. Um, but this is going to be the, the cathedral room and everything. It's going to be really awesome. Or being a robber or conductor would be fun. It definitely is. Um... I've never done it before, but uh, I know people that have done it. And literally, if you're a robber for the day, that's all you do for the day. Like, when the train's not by, you're on break, basically, until the next train comes by. So you you have, like, 15 to 20-minute breaks in between each train. So you do the cave tour at some point. It looks cool. I haven't done it myself in quite a while, but definitely recommend doing the cave if you can, um, as long as you're physically fit to do so. Because, you know, there's a lot of stairs, there's a lot of crouching, and we did work on this the other day, too, and actually get kind of like the cave entrance, the little cave queue, where you enter for the cave. Really, really nice. Does Planet Coaster have an angled cable car for the cave? The, the, it does not, but we're going to we're gonna make it work. We're going to find something to work. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use for the cable car. I think I might actually end up using... We're going to use either the steam train one of the steam trains or maybe even the tour bus will work slightly it's not going to be great but at least it'll be functional <clears throat> i didn't think you would be the cave i feel it would be a struggle it will be a struggle uh that's why i'm kind of leaving it for last and i might update the part like when i do update say let's do some while I'm, while we're discussing let's go ahead and do some thunderation custom supports because <laughs> i need to get these done um but uh it will be a struggle and that's why i'm kind of saving it for last because 
I'm not gonna really work and I might actually upload the uh, park file once I get the rest of the park done and then update the cave will kind of be later on I'll do it kind of through like an updated version of the park I'll update the park file for the steam workshop so uh, what are they gonna do with fire in the hole when they build a new fire in the hole they're going to from the rumors that I've heard it's gonna get demolished and then they're going to replace it with a new train steam train station that can handle the crowds because right now the current state steam train station cannot handle the crowds on busy days especially during Christmas <laughs> I'll say that much all right we need to get to the helix eventually here that's what we that's our our end goal speaking of Thunder Asian is it wrong to almost like it better than wildfire I wouldn't say it's wrong I mean it's all your opinion so I mean I would definitely not rate it above wildfire but I would say it's one of the better one of the best mine trains out there for sure I definitely think so like I think it's one of the best mine train coasters out there I would put that label on it and I've been gone quite a few uh, but I love the tunnel on Thunderation. It actually has some really good forces in the tunnel. And it just gets so loud you hear the screams and everything. And it's just it's actually a fairly intense section of the, the ride is the once you get to that tunnel underground. <clears throat> actually really good. I feel like I would be able to affect the saloon show having all that noise behind the stage. <clears throat> um not really. The steam train already goes by the saloon already, so there's not a lot of noise. It wouldn't cause that much noise. It's not really that noisy in the depot. I kind of thought the same thing when they added Time Traveler because it's right behind the Echo Hollow Theater. Um, and I don't know if they... But then again, they're not really running them simultaneously. You don't usually have Time Traveler running while a show's going on in Echo Hollow because Echo Hollow is usually after park close. But there was some times where they're, you know, during, like, Moonlight Madness, there actually is a show right before they do the fireworks. And uh, they do run simultaneously, but... It just kind of all depends, so... <laughs> Thunderation is an amazing family coaster. Wildfire is great, especially in the back, though. It is. It is. It is. It is definitely. I again. I do think. I think I would rate Thunderation as the best mine train coaster out there. But um, personally, I, I would definitely wouldn't uh, put it over Wildfire personally. But you know, I'm not gonna judge anyone that uh, has their own opinions on on stuff. The only time. I do that is uh, I have had people say that Steel Vengeance is or Outlaw Run's better than Steel Vengeance and then I'm biased for Outlaw Run and I still disagree with that. <laughs> so still think uh, I like Wildfire slightly better. Yeah, I have Wildfire I think number three in the park. Right behind Time Traveler and then Powder Keg. Um <clears throat> at least I would say so. Almost still think one of their, I love Thunderation. Pretty underrated coaster. I would say so too. Don't know how long Thunderation will stay about, you know, with a lot of arrows starting to bite the dust now. Maybe out or maybe they can keep still keep it around a little longer. You never know. But there's no current rumors of Thunderation going anywhere, so at least there, there's no rumors on park saying that, so um, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. I'll fire in the back seats. Um, and the drop does have... It does have... The drop on Wildfire in the back is really, really good. Really, really good. Thunderation was my first roller coaster ever, so it's special in my heart. It was my first coaster as well. <clears throat> when I was a kid. And I was absolutely terrified. And I was making a big fit. And then after I rode it, I have been hooked on roller coasters ever since. <laughs> that's where my love started steel vengeance versus iron gwazi i had i can't say for sure because i haven't ridden iron gwazi yet i've been able to s look at iron gwazi um but 
I still think I'll have Steel Vengeance over Iron Gwazi personally. Don't know. Lightning Rod is greater than Steel Vengeance. I don't think that's like the most unpopular opinion out there. I mean, I disagree with it, but like, I'm not gonna judge anyone that prefers Lightning Rod over Steel Vengeance. What I love about Steel Vengeance is just how long the ride is. Some people don't like intense rides for that long. I do. I love my rides to be as long as possible. A longer ride just makes the wait worth worth it more, in my opinion. Like, I waited in line. I want a nice long ride, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> Those people that call Steel Vengeance rough. I can't believe there's people out there that say that. That is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever have heard, is that people actually call Steel Vengeance rough. I've had people say that Outlaw Run is smoother than Steel Vengeance, and I was like, hey, are you, whoa, what? <laughs> Federation is a lot more wide open than the other mine trains I've been on. The only fault is the more compact rides have more theming usually right people who prefer mean streak I, i'm not even gonna go there uh no just renovate it if they do anything um yeah i don't think they would ever renovate thunderation i think they would either remove it entirely or just keep it you know i don't know if there's what kind of renovating they would do with it right at this point but I'm all for keeping Thunderation, but if it can get replaced with something, as if it does get removed, I just hope it gets replaced with something really good. What's the all coaster that you got into coasters? Mine was Rock and Roller Coaster. Um, my first coaster was Thunderation, and then my second coaster that I rode was Wildfire, and then my third coaster that I ever rode, uh, this was before Powder Keg opened. So my third coaster that I rode was Wildcat at celebration city but before it closed down that was when celebration city was still open so <clears throat> seven doors mine train greater than raptor uh, it's okay <laughs> whatever floats your boat but okay <laughs> i haven't ridden either guazi or vengeance they both are on my bucket list though i've been on steel vengeance and i have viewed iron guazi twice I i've been to bush gardens tampa twice and both times, I just got to look at Iron Gwazi. Um, just crying at the front entrance. Crying, saying, hey, please let me ride. But they didn't let me, unfortunately. So, um, And then it opened like five, what, like five months later. And I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> of course. Definitely next time I go down to Florida, I'll definitely have to go back to Bush Gardens for sure. Ghost Rider is the one that got you. I like Ghost Rider a lot. I enjoyed it. I only got one ride on it when I was out there in February, though, because I did go to Knott's. Uh, but I only got one ride on it because the line just got kind of long, and I wanted to make sure I got on everything. So I didn't really have a whole lot of time to get another ride on it. So, unfortunately, but at least I got a ride on it, you know. Steel Vengeance was smooth as a brand new B&M when I rode it in 2019. I rode it back, last time I went to Cedar Point was 2018 when it was new, so don't see how it could be rough. Track work is something RMC can't be topped on, uh, especially the iBox track. iBox track is just really, really good. Their topper track is a little bit flawed. Um, you know, Outlaw Run does get a lot of cracks in the track. Um, not like super often, but once every few months, I would say we are shut down for quite a few hours because they have to go weld some parts in the track that get cracked and it's usually the guide and the guide wheels section spot usually the guide wheels get uh and the guide wheel like the in, inside portion always seems to get cracked once in a while um like i said it's not like super often probably once every few months i would say <clears throat> Mine was Thunderation. I thought I would hate it, but I loved it. I, I think I rode it like five times the same day. Probably the same too. Like when I was a kid, I I I loved Thunderation. Uh, after uh, again, it took me a while to get it get me to ride it. I was making a fit, but my parents kind of got me to ride it, and I came back absolutely in love with coasters. 
So. Uh, I grew up in Colorado, so Vacoma SLC got me into coasters. So, gosh, it wasn't until 23 that I got RMC and finally learned what a good coaster was. Imagine, imagine that. Not being able to get on a good coaster for that long. I mean, I didn't really get out to, like, anywhere else besides Silver Dollar City until, I don't know, 20... Until I started working at SDC, really, is when I started making actual trips out to like cedar point king's island because i i had already always heard about these huge coasters at cedar point and i it was my dream to go to cedar point i finally made the trip out there and i've made a couple of trips uh, since then and you know so i'm really glad that i i did i got to ride some uh, some of my favorite rides and can we ride time traveler uh sure trying to stay up with the chat and i'm sorry i'm getting really far behind let me get try and get picked up <laughs> i've never been to bush gardens tampa or bush garden williamsburg i do want to get to williamsburg i've only been to tampa uh both on my bucket list though bush gardens or williamsburg are like a much better overall park but they do don't have anything like our Nguazi. that is true when i saw the big drop i thought i was going to straight down and when i wrote it i was so scared at the top uh what right are you talking about i'm trying to <laughs> multiple conversations at once big drop on what um anyways uh can we get the right time to i already read, read that uh i'd like to i like the bite outlaw run has adds character to the ride that's totally agree I love how intense the loops, zero G rolls, and airtime seven dwarves is something else. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, the theming is good, but kind of boring. Um, I'll go into flow. July Steel Vengeance is a long ride, so I suspect it to stay at the top of my list. That's exactly what I'm kind of thinking of too. When I, if I get to ride Iron Gwazi, I think Steel Vengeance will stay on top for me for it. But I do expect it to be maybe my second favorite RMC. Iron Gwazi is crazy, and honestly. The ops were giving so much room too, where it made it incredible. Nice, getting a lot of airtime there. Get what you mean? I love Seven Dwarves, and I'm joking about the intense stuff. I, I figured you were. <laughs> the RMCs, especially the larger, have support structure issues, but the I box track is pretty solid. I do know that I box is pretty solid, and in terms of transition smoothness and all that kind of track work, it's pretty flawless. Um. I became enthusiast in October of 2020, and since then I've been to six new parks and got 55 new credits. Nice. I'm up to 120, uh, 128 on my credits now. Um, oh, you're talking about Thunderation. Got you. Thunderation. The last drop on Thunderation is actually really good, too. <clears throat> this little drop turn at the end. It's actually a pretty good highlight of the ride. All right. <clears throat> Where's the ding-dongs? All right, we gotta go seat view for this because we have to have the spinning, so. So many things about RMC's overall engineering grinds my gears, but I'll hand the track work to them. They got that down. That is true. They'll get there. The only rides that have been so close to Steel Vengeance for me has been Lightning Rod and Voyage. Voyage is really good. I love Voyage so much. And Lightning Rod, of course, too. Um, I've only ridden 44 coasters. Hey, I, I've been at that point, too. You know, once I started doing a lot of coaster trips, I was finally able to get my coaster count up, so. 68 total creds. Nice. <clears throat> I was there not too long ago myself, but I've gotten myself up to 128. I'm proud of my 128 now. Because I just crossed 100 not too long ago, and, you know, after going on this California trip, I gained 20 credits. So, because uh, I went to Knott's and I went to um, uh, Knott's Berry Farm and Magic Mountain. So, I love time travel mostly in the back. Oh, yeah. Haven't ridden lightning rod since the tra track swap. I actually got I've ridden it with the wooden track all wooden track and I've also with the topper all topper track and then I've also ridden it since they've uh, made the upgrades to the iBox on some spots 
it's honestly does hasn't changed that much i i didn't notice much of a difference i would say it's a little smoother but that's about it and i never thought it was rough to begin with so 48 credits now nice how do such a good park overall shows that you don't have to have a huge park budget or tons of rides to be an incredible experience that is true it's such a good park with how small it is I like I find myself wanting to go back to Holiday World all the time. I think they could use another good steel coaster though. Hopefully. Time Traveler Recreation is incredible. Thank you. I've worked really hard on it. It's not done yet, but I'm gonna be doing uh, fully customized or I'm, I still have to do all the custom supports on it, but I haven't finished them. Or I haven't gotten too far into it, so. I'll for sure reach 70 this year. I think I'll reach 100 next year. Nice. The back is amazing. I, I can't ride Time Traveler any other way than the back. Let's ride the back and the POV here. My cousin is a pretty big enthusiast, and he has like 150 credits. Or nice. Lightning Rod seems to run a little slower with the eye box, but still my number one. I never noticed any change in that, in my opinion, but, you know... Who knows? There's only 23 as well. Nice. Has more than me. I'm over here pushing my 30s, and I'm only at 128. <laughs> Coaster credits at 53. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know. Once I crossed 100, I felt I felt big time. Once I crossed that 100, I live two hours away from SDC. I live in Arkansas. Nice. Do you live close to Magic Springs as well? Since you're down in Arkansas. Went up by 20 last year. Nice. I got 20 on my last my last trip alone. Um, I wish I would have got more if all the Magic Mountain rides would have been open, but not all the coasters were open at Magic Mountain, so I didn't get all of them. Will STC give you the custom Clocks Coldplay cover to add to this? I already have it in there. I already have the custom soundtrack. We go over here and listen. I do have the soundtrack playing. Right now it's playing Freebird. However you spell that, Infinity. Cursor Infinity would be cool at Holiday World. I would say it's a good fit, yeah. I love Thunderbird. Thunderbird's my favorite wing coaster. I roughly plan on a huge coaster ride trip this summer, or next 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 year, not summer. I don't know why I read summer. The rough plan is to hit Six Flags Over Georgia, Kerwins, Kings Dominion, Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, Hershey, Knobles, and Six Flags. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Maybe Kennywood, too. That's a lot of parks. I would love to do, like, just a mega coaster trip. That'd be awesome. Live in Farmington. Uh, you should place a tiny tower on the hill before a time trail out so it looks like an inspiration tower is visible from the drop oh I, I didn't think about that that'd be kind of funny fun to do that's awesome love how unrealistically fast this spins yeah I, I wish I could control it a little better but it was either that or not have the spinning on it at all <laughs> that's why we need the uh, extreme spinning coaster in the game Do you live close to Magic Springs? Gotcha. I live in Kansas, so not much uh, offer besides Worlds of Fun. And I've been there millions of times. Yeah. Worlds of Fun is eh. I wish they could do more. It actually doesn't count. It won't pick up as copyright. I think I, I've done... I, I've listened to it before while I'm here. It doesn't pick up as copyright. As far as I know. Then again, I'm saying this, and I'm probably going to get copyright striked for this for this video. Just wait. <laughs> Thunderbird makes me wonder why B&M doesn't do more launches, right? Surf coaster soon, though, I guess. Don't love that they'll be too across seating, but we'll see. I'm very curious of what that will be. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I have a massive 50-day trip in the works in a few years. 50 days? Wow. That is a big trip. Hits most major U.S. parks and some national parks, and we'll see how it turns out. Well, I hope it goes through. SDC is one of the best parks because they do not focus, do not only focus on rides. 
They've been very ride heavy lately, though. Which I don't think is bad, but. I think the SeaWorld Beanham Surf will be built. If so, are you going to ride it? Um, I think it is going to be built because they've already started construction on it. So yeah, it will be built. Um, and if I'm ever at SeaWorld, of course I'll ride it. I actually I haven't been a, even been on Mako yet. I've been on Manta and Kum uh, Kraken. I almost said Kumba. But I have been on Kumba too. <laughs> Spent a day there in the snow and nothing was open. And I still totally entertained for like four hours with the rest of the park. You know, some people actually want refunds when that happens. I have had people get so frustrated with me because they came on a 14 degree day and all the rides were closed. And I'm like, what were you expecting? You know? <laughs> what were you expecting, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, we, we're gonna get some good stuff done, I think. <coughs> Maybe tomorrow. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on each section each time, and I'll just get the references exactly what I need to work on in each each time. So maybe tomorrow morning, I'll make sure I get all of the square down. So I need to figure out all this right here. I need to get my references for that. Maybe get references for the back of the taffy shop. And there is a bathroom hiding back behind here, too. That does hide behind there. Um, so maybe tomorrow morning I'll get that Get that if I remember. SeaWorld won't stop spending money. They're like, no one else will be the <laughs> Coaster Capital over Orlando. Or we're going to be now. I guess. Like, they need to be careful. You know, I think Six Flags kind of tried to do that. And they kept spending so much money on coasters. And then... They kind of got themselves into financial trouble. You hear that Dollywood was supposed to get a roller coaster in 2023? I did, but I'm not sure. I think it might be 2024, to be honest. Are you going to do the cabins? Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to try and do like the, the little uh, homestead over here, which has, it's kind of like the, they kind of have the animals in there a little bit, so. So yeah, um, am I going to SDC tomorrow? I work there every day, so yes. <clears throat> Being an employee there, yes, I, I do. I will be there tomorrow. <laughs> I get to be there every day so I can get all the references I need. <laughs> yeah, I work there, so. Looks like it will be some sort of multi-launch. I think it's going to be a mock multi-launch. Is what I think it's going to be. Uh, uh... I think it's going to be a, a mock extreme spinning coaster. Is what I think. That's how early 2006 Flags went bankrupt. They were literally installing like five B&Ms a year. <laughs> what is your job at SDC? I'm the I am the team lead of Outlaw Run. A family spinning multi launch. Here's the thing. Silver Dollar City marketed Time Traveler as a family coaster. That the whole family will enjoy it. So I don't see why, you know, this new coaster at Dollywood won't be something similar. You know. You should make a vlog at Silver Dollar City. I did make one a few years ago when... Um, my good friend Gunner visited. We made one uh, there. So I do actually have a Silver City vlog. And it was on my day off. Uh, we, we hung out at the park. Any input on the fate of Top Thrill Dragster? I think it... I, 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 I think it's going to reopen next year. Either that or they're just trying to figure out... The reason why it's closed this year, they're just trying to figure out what they're going to do with it. I, I don't think its fate has been decided yet. You know, because they might be looking at it. It's a very tough decision because it's a pain for maintenance. 
However, it is one of the most iconic rides in the world. So it's kind of one of, it's a very difficult decision to make. Just like the decision they had to make with Volcano, you know, they decided it wasn't worth it, you know. Cuz if they do, do if they do take it out, they're going to have to figure out what they're going to do to replace it with, you know. Are they going to have to build another coast, some coaster that's more reliable that goes 400 feet? Uh, or maybe they... I don't know how possible this would be, but maybe they can convert it from a hydraulic launch to maybe, like, LSMs. Kind of like Red Force. And make it more reliable. But I don't know if they would be able to keep the 420 feet. Because I think the launch would have to be longer. Because it would be more of a gradual launch. So I don't know how possible that would be. Probably not very possible. Maybe they could make it shorter slightly to make it work. I don't know. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows what they'll do? Is there a height limit at Silver City for roller coasters? I don't think so. Like, there's no maximum height for any of the coasters, as far as I know. Um, it doesn't say anything in any of the manuals for it. So, I don't know. A 95 foot tall loop. I am proud of this loop, okay? This this loop was custom made, and I never custom make loops in Planet Coaster. I typically use the in-game ones, but I had to kind of specifically make this one myself. And it turned out beautifully. I think so. Thing is, the launch wasn't the problem. The incident that... Well, I know the launch isn't the problem, but my point is the launch ha causes a lot of maintenance issues. And it just has issues in general. You know what I mean? I know that the, the incident had nothing to do with it, basically. And that, you know, there's no reason for him to have it shut down right now. There really isn't. It's clear to reopen. It's already been cleared to be reopened, but they've decided to keep it closed for the year because I think they legit are trying to figure out what they want to do with the ride. If they want to either remove it or maybe they could renovate it or cha make changes to it to where it's more reliable. Or maybe they can do something with it. You know, I don't know. I legitimately hope they can save it somehow, but I can understand if they remove it. I legitimately hope they can somehow figure it out because... I love Top Thrill Dragster, and I've only been a, I've only ridden it like three times, but you know we still have King Daka, so <laughs> I've never been on King Daka. But from what I've heard, Top Thrill Dragster is probably better because it has the lap bars instead of the over-the-shoulder restraints. Should have gone for a hundred tall loop to make it more marketable. It already has some pretty decent hang time. I don't know if you could have gotten that extra five feet. Maybe you could have. When do you think they'll build the next huge ride at Sword Art City? Now that after Fire in the Hole 2.0, it'll probably be a couple of years after. So Fire in the Hole will open in 2023, so maybe our next big year will be 2025, 2026. That would probably be my guess. <clears throat> We're still doing darn autosave. Thing is, I'm worried if they close it, everyone will expect their replacement, but they won't get anything for like five years. That's true. Because they're probably already planning the next ride to be where Wicked Twister was. That's probably going to be the next... I don't know if it's going to be a coaster, but I'd imagine they'd want to replace it with a coaster for that area. So it will probably be quite a few years after that before they get anything. So to, before they would replace it, so... Imagine a hyper giga coaster in SDC, 200 lift hill, 300 foot drop. <laughs> they could make that happen. I think that would be actually kind of cool. I think Cedar Point right now is trying to see how upset the general public is with it closed, just to see if it makes any difference for the park for the year. See if they can get away with it being gone. That could be a thing, too. You never know. But I, I legit think they're just trying to decide what they want to do with it right now. Gotta go now. Bye, guys. Alright, see ya. Wicked Twister is going to be replaced with a restaurant. That would be kind of sad. Because, you know, they've lowered their coaster count a lot lately. By removing Wicked Twister. 
you know they removed wicked twister have they removed anything else that they haven't really replaced with yet I'm trying to think I think that's the main one but like and now top throw dragster could be potentially closed uh, you know you never know because that would be kind of a huge blow because that would put the America's roller coast down to like 14 15 coasters which isn't anything special compared to a lot of coaster or theme parks out there you know first time on time traveler a girl asked me if it was scary I said well you're going upside down and spinning she said nope could have been on a f could have been a first date <laughs> yeah you missed out there you could have could have made it could have made it a date you know never been out it's a great adventure but only visit Cedar Point I got to right top the dragster at dusk and yeah it was short but the la launch is the most intense thing I've ever experienced I just love getting up there you get that view for like two seconds the view is absolutely incredible because you're like in the middle of the park you get to look around the park and you only get a few seconds to look and then you're plummeting right back down <clears throat> random but does SDC do anything with that tower they used to be the water ride nope it just sits there it just sits there it used to be the water boggin um, which Dolly would remove theirs as well but the tower just sits there and I have it sitting here in the recreation I haven't detailed it or anything it's just kind of sitting here but it just sits there. They don't do anything with it. I don't know why. It's kind of some prime real estate right here. You know, they have like from here to here, they could build something. Maybe they'll move Dragster to Wicked Twister plot and build a new Wicked Twister on the Dragster plot. Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but okay. Yeah, sure. Other Dragster is on, high on my bucket list and I will hope to get the chance to ride it. Well, you might have to make that King to Ka if they end up removing it. Because then you'll still have King to Ka, but that's it. I do want to get to Six Flags Great Adventure someday. Get on El Toro, King to Ka, Nitro. All that fun stuff. Very lucky to get one of the last trains the day before the top thrill accident. It was uh, my first and only time to ride on it. You definitely got lucky that you got on it, though, then. <clears throat> I do. I still think it kind of sucks that they've decided to keep it closed while they're trying to decide what to do with it. Because I think it is clear to reopen. They can reopen it right now if they wanted to, but they've decided to keep it closed. You know, but they haven't made an official announcement on it, so there's still hope that it will still remain but you know ultimately they're they're gonna have to try and figure out this decision and you know we'll see we'll see on it you know we just don't know but uh i think i got what i wanted to do at least done today for now and i hope maybe we'll come back tomorrow if i have if i'm not too tired or have some time maybe we'll come back tomorrow and work on it a little more or maybe we'll be in the challenge park i don't know if only that time warp was in Planko. Oh well, coming soon, I guess. Hopefully. I still believe opening day they handed out cards. People saying, wait for Top Throw Dragster approximately one year. <laughs> Gosh. Mountain Sidemar was just sat on its plot for years, but they went ahead and demolished it and leveled the plot in December. So hopefully that means they'll have plans for the plot. That's true. Maybe they'll replace it with something. I'm hoping there's hope that it will reopen. Only fitting replacement would be a T-Rex. Who knows? Maybe maybe Cedar Point will get the first T-Rex. When is the first T-Rex going to be here? Like, that's my question. When is that thing going to actually make its debut? When's the Axis coaster? The SNS Axis? That's something that should be in Planet Coaster 2 is the SNS Axis coaster. That would be actually really nice to have. And I hope, uh, I hope uh, Park actually has plans to add an Axis coaster. Because that's something very, very unique that I hope to see soon. Have you built the SDC mine train? Uh, kind of. I'm, I'm working on the uh, custom supports for it still. But uh, I've built the layout. Just needs scenery and the tunnel needs to need some defining, re redefining. But 
<sighs> Apparently it's coming in Europe. Ah, I want one in America though, so I'm not too far away. <laughs> I would love to see it in Planet Coaster 2, though. That'd be awesome. So your point needs seems to overall be transitioning to a more all-around resort rather than just record-breaking coaster park, which means makes sense since they're running out of space. Yeah, but they're still the roller coaster capital of the world. And if it was me, I'd try to keep it that way if I could. Six Flags might add the first access coaster. We could see that. Could be could be Six Flags. I could see them making like a small clone for a lot of their, their parks. I could see them doing that. Give Six Flags St. Louis something finally. That's what we need. The directions commentary for this, how we rolled. They said that the T-Rex animation in there was turned down by a park. Who would turn that down? I've seen the doc, or I've seen the, um, I've seen This Is How We Roll, uh, and I don't remember that. I'll have to rewatch it again, but First Access is confirmed to be in Europe. Has it been confirmed that one's actually being built? Obviously, coasters and breaking records will always be part of Cedar Point's DNA, but they seem to be moving somewhat away from that being their top priority, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. What do you think they are going to do with the 800 acres of land for STC that they bought this year? I think it's going to be a resort. Um, you know, Dollywood built their resort a few years back. I truly think they're going to build a resort. I think that's what it's going to be. So we have already gotten a T-Rex. We could have already gotten a T-Rex, but we didn't. It's sad. <laughs> After what I said on the Twitch stream, I'm sure we'll see a lot of newer coaster models for Planet Coast 2. Two. Yeah, another, like the three that you said earlier, I think uh, I would love to see, um, uh, another one I'd like to see is the Access Coaster. That'd be kind of cool. On top of the Raptor, the uh, Blitz, and the um, uh, Extreme Spinning Coaster. I feel like St. Louis, Six Flags St. Louis will get a mini hyper like Goliath at La Ronde if Six Flags can continues to work with Venom. I would, I kind of want them to get like an RMC Raptor in the place of Ninja. Remove Ninja and put an RMC Raptor there. Huge improvement. It was in the director's commentary. Got you. I don't think I've watched the director's commentary, but they will, said they weren't allowed to say what park turned it down. I wouldn't imagine they would be able to. What else would you think they are going to do with it? Um, what else? I right now it just just a resort. I don't think there's anything else that's going to be done with it. You know, I could see them maybe doing some sort of transportation from there to have a new entrance to the park or something, but. Some interview somewhere said Cedar Point for Main Street was the why is this like frozen pretty much was the first coaster RMC approach to park about but they got turned down so I guess I guess they changed their mind eventually then didn't they <clears throat> yeah the 800 acres that's why I'm saying a resort <laughs> it is a lot of land but like. It's not, it wasn't bought like at the park. It was bought a little fit, bit further down the road. So maybe the acres extends all the way out to the park. I don't know. And maybe they're going to like have some sort of transportation to there and have some more. I, I have no clue, but I, I truly think that they're going to build a resort kind of like Dollywood did because it's right down the road. I'm sure they have the tilt, the coma, finally. Oh, yeah, the tilt coaster would be great. Family invert uh, would be great. The coma new gen and new gen flying and so on. I would hope they get all those for sure. Brontosaurus track. Is that even a thing? Imagine instead of Steel Vengeance, we had a new Texas Giant style ride. Yeah, because it, it probably wouldn't have been as good if they would have accepted it back then. You didn't bother me. I'm just like, like I, 
that's all I've really thought the rumors have been is that that it could be a resort. And as for all 800 acres, I don't know. Like, but um, I already tried the SDC second gate park thing, and that didn't work. Second gate park thing. Going to go watch part 26 and 27 of the challenge park after the stream. I need to catch up. Yes, because episode 28 will be out tomorrow morning, so... The thread didn't really spoil much for Planko 2 aside from those three coasters, a lot more rides and more stalls and whatever else. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But okay, guys, I think I am going to head off here. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you guys, everyone that uh, did Super Chat and donated some money to the stream tonight. I appreciate you guys so much um, for the $16.97. That's awesome. I appreciate it. It's been a really, really good month for the channel, so I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Um, yeah, you guys have no idea. Um, so what are some things you would like added to Silver Dollar City? Um, <laughs> you know, if I was selfish, I would say an Intamin multi-launch like Velocicoaster, because I absolutely love Velocicoaster. It's my favorite coaster. So... <laughs> When they tried to sell Subration City as a second gate park, oh, I'm not saying like they would build another park. Um, I'm just saying a second entrance entry to Silver Dollar City, like a back entrance gate from the park to the the resort, is what I was kind of thinking of. Not like building a second theme park. Saying they would make a whole park on 100, 800, like islands. I mean, they could. They really could make a second park there if they wanted to. How long have I worked at Silver Dollar City? Since 2013. Have a great day of work. Thank you. Bye. Uh, somewhere this tower roll, they said T-Rex track is going to be incredible, but nothing compared to the Brontosaurus track. Oh, yeah. I remember they did joke about that. I remember. I, I forgot that joke. <laughs> but, yeah. Have a good night. Have a good night. Every day and even a cooler tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Still think they should do a flying coaster with a flying machine theme. A flying coaster with the terrain at SDC would be really awesome. A BNM, I would love a BNM flying, or maybe like a uh, the new Vacoma flying coasters. <clears throat> Dollywood two coming to Silver Dollar City. Oh gosh. But, all right, guys, thank you guys so much for joining. It's been an awesome two streams today. I had two streams in one day. How about that? My other one was kind of interrupted because my computer crashed and restarted out of nowhere. I was about to end that stream anyway, so I didn't go live again. But I decided to come back for uh, Silver Dollar City. So. But I hope you guys have a great day and even cooler tomorrow. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow night. I don't like making promises just in case, but... Um, I appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, and goodbye.